to share how I do the ghosting technique. This is sometimes called faux bleaching or water stamping. I'm going to show three different samples of card and different coloring mediums. Starting with regular cardstock, Nina 110 pound, sponge randomly with peacock feathers and vintage photos, distress inks. I'm placing a stencil over top and spraying with water, and then I'll remove the moisture with a paper towel to create a ghosting effect. So I'm putting my cardstock on top of an acrylic block, just makes it easier to pull the stencil off once I'm finished spraying. So I'm just going to line it up to get the best images I can. And then I'm going to spray with lots of water and quickly remove it. So this is the trick to this technique, removing the stencil right away after you finish spraying. That makes it so that the water doesn't run underneath and you get clean, crisp images from the stencil. Now you can see that the distress inks are already reacting to the water, but I'm going to leave it a little bit longer before blotting with the paper towel, usually about 10 to 15 seconds from the time I remove the stencil. So I'm just removing the extra moisture and you can see the ghosted images. Now as this paper dries, it, it will get a stronger difference between the ghosted and the background. In my next sample, I'm using watercolor paper that I have sprayed with two watercolor sprays. I've dried the background. It's always important to start with a dry background. Now again, I'm putting it up on the acrylic block just so I can pull the stencil off easy. And I'm using a stencil I cut with my Silhouette Cameo. Nice, leafy background. Again, same technique. I'm going to spray with lots of water and quickly remove the stencil. Now you can see that the water is already reacting with the watercolor sprays, but again I'm going to leave it for about 10 to 15 seconds to let the water work its way into the ink. Then when I blot it up, it will remove some of the color. You can see that the leaves are lighter now. Uh, this piece is very wet and as it dries, the difference between the ghosted areas and the background will intensify. My last example uses mixed media paper that I've colored with three colors of brush outs. I sprinkled them on top, sprayed with lots of water, and then tilted the panel and moved it around until it, it covered it. And then I let it dry. This time I'm not going to use a stencil, I'm just going to splatter some water on to create ghost splats. And I'm just placing the water in my cup of my hand, picking up with my fingers and flicking it onto the background. And I'm going to leave this for a few seconds for it to react. Uh, mixed media paper is great for this uh, technique as the ink sits on top. So when you add the water, it usually reacts really well and removes quite a bit of the color. I'm just blotting up the extra moisture and some of the color. And you can see the light yellowish colored splats. I'm going to share three cards that I made with these backgrounds. I hope you found this video helpful and if you do please give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching.